Hello, I'm Dr. Evelyn Jen, and I'm going to talk today about doing a nerve block on a breast. So at the breastfeeding clinic, we sometimes see a mother who has a shooting pain in one specific direction, radiating from the nipple to any part of the breast. It could be into the axilla, up um, at 12 o'clock to the uh, clavicle, or medially, or even directly straight through. But it's distinguished from some of the symptoms we see with damaged nipples and yeast, which can create uh, radiating pain throughout the breast in many different directions. So this can be very troublesome for some mothers, um, and can stay in the breast either all the time, or for several hours of the time, or sometimes it's very, very frequent jabbing pain. So we have had some good success with treating um, this pain as a nerve block, and um, it, just as we would in other parts of the body where we have an, um, a neuropathic pain in a specific location. So I want to just show you now how we prepare the tray. First, we determine which part of the breast is the most effective to inject the uh, nerve block. Um, so we will clean the area first uh, with some alcohol swabs. And then to make it um, a little less uncomfortable for the mother, we'll put in some xylocaine so that she doesn't feel the needle going in for the nerve block. Probably three or four mils is sufficient. We don't use any epinephrine in our xylocaine for breasts. And then uh, we prepare a syringe of four mils of marcaine, 0.5%. This is bupivacaine hydrochloride injection. And then for greater effect, we add one mil of Kenalog 40. And so adding to five mils total in the syringe. We do advise the mum that side effects could be um, a little bit of bleeding at sight, of course a numb area temporarily in the area affected. We give a sponge and some tape. I thought we could just talk about okay. um, is the possibility of dealing with that radiating pain okay. that goes down from the bleb into the lower part of your breast. Okay because that's quite significant, lasting so long between feedings. Yes. And well, where would you place that on a scale of severity of 1 to 10? Um, sometimes it can be like as low as a 6, and then sometimes it can be as high as a 10, and if I'm nursing at night for a nighttime feed, it'll wake me up as it's like throbbing in the middle of the night. Oh, wow, yes. So is it, uh, do you get sometimes uh, jabbing? as well as throbbing? Yes. Combination of both? Yes, definitely. Combination of both, yeah. When I hear numbers like that with a mum who has delivered a baby, <laughs> it seems very high to me. Yes. If it was someone who'd never had a baby, they go, they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so, it's definitely high. <laughs> yes, it is high. So a nerve block would involve uh, <laughs> with a small needle, yeah. injecting a combination of long-acting anaesthetic okay. and a little bit of hydrocortisone okay. um, together, mixed in. Okay. Um, to, te the, to tell that nerve that uh, it can stop reacting. Okay. It seems to be that maybe something happened that irritated the nerve, maybe it was the bleb but something irritated the nerve and the nerve keeps screaming Yes. and screaming at you. It's been triggered without um, enough stimulus to make a nerve that painful. It's not like banging your toe on a table leg. It's, yes. it's just happening spontaneously. Okay. Um, and sometimes you can switch off that pain, um, either temporarily or in some cases I've seen permanently, um, or you can... Uh, reduce it. Okay. So with the ones I've done, I've had various different outcomes. Some okay. solved completely, some less pain, okay. some temporary re relief and then it comes back later. Okay. Um, never to the same degree, but the, the outcomes do vary okay. quite a bit. 
So now we're going to proceed into doing a nerve block for very persistent, severe, uh, linear pain that goes from the nipple, where we have just removed a bleb, uh, vertically down to the bottom of the breast. It can last half an hour to two hours after a feeding. And the baby feeds about six to eight times a day. So this is a very severe issue. Um, caused by uh, some branch of uh, T4, the nerve that innervates the breast. And so we're going to um, try to make that nerve be quiet and not give this message of pain out so regularly. So uh, we're just going to wipe the nipple and areola again. The nipple and areola is already anesthetized from the bleb. So where we would normally uh, be using some uh, local anaesthetic, uh, just superficially on the skin. We won't need to do that in this particular situation. I'm going to test you first to see if you are anaesthetized still. Feeling sharp? Mm, a little bit, but not too much. It's manageable. I'm holding up the breast, so I've got a nice spell here of tissue. Now I'm just going to start. And then I'll squeeze like this to distribute it. <laughs> I can feel a little bit. Yeah, can you? Yeah. Any distress? Uh, it just feels like pinching. Yeah. So you might see a little lumpy area where I've put it in. I'm going to uh, give it a little massage to encourage the distribution. As the weeks went by, it just kind of seemed to get, the pain after feeding seemed to get worse and worse. Right. That's what I noticed, yeah. All right. All right. Now we're going to go in with the actual block. Okay. Feeling okay? Yes. Yeah. So what we do is we sort of spread around uh, in the tissue. Okay. Sort of put a dab in slightly different directions. And it will also distribute itself. Okay. That's great. So you may have a, a, a numb area. Okay. In, uh, just in this part of the breast and that should go away by the end of the day. Okay, sure. Sounds good. This procedure has helped many mothers. The results, of course, because people are individuals, do vary. We have had some mothers where this has uh, blocked off the pain permanently, uh, and that we're very thrilled when that happens. Other times we have had mothers with temporary relief, and then a return of the pain, um, but always at a lower level. So the side effects here um, will be uh, possibly some bleeding from the site, uh, superficial bruising, of course, and a little, of course, numbness in the area temporarily from the xylocaine. I do advise mothers to wait about two hours before nursing on the breast we have treated. Um, we know that there is very generous perfusion of the breasts during lactation. However, we don't want the baby to get any of that medication and within two hours uh, we can be certain that all of the medication has been dispersed to the rest of the body and so there's no danger to the baby. In all the cases we have treated, we have had either full relief or at least a partial relief which makes this procedure worthwhile doing. When my baby was about three months old, I started getting this jabbing and kind of shooting pain in my breast, and it would last like two hours after every feed, um, and it would wake me up uh, a bunch in the night, and that lasted for several months, and then I got treated for nipple yeast 
and was given painkillers, but that didn't help. Uh, then it was diagnosed as nerve pain, uh, and so I was given a nerve block, which is just a simple injection to the breast. And then I had a little bit of pain for a few weeks, and then it went totally away. So for my next baby, if anything at all like that happens again, I won't wait so long to get help.